Welcome back to The Hill on News Nation. Hunter Biden appeared in an Arkansas courtroom for a hearing that began as a simple paternity dispute. The case now focuses on Hunter's overseas business deals, his laptop, and other financial matters that the mother of his child would like information on. He's being asked for information on his art sales, travel habits, and an inventory of his property and cars. This comes just weeks after Hunter joined his father for a presidential trip to Ireland. Uh, boy, the tale of two or three weeks in Hunter's life is a vast difference, I think we can all agree. Look, uh, Lauren, Republicans think Hunter is a, a winning strategy. No. You're, no, it's not. Okay. Here's the question. If Don Jr. had been in court today when Donald Trump was president about a similar case with the coverage of indifferent? I, look, I understand your point. I'm not you know, approving of Hunter Biden's behavior. But I don't think anybody a, approves a, of Hunter Biden's behavior. There's a behavior, difference but. between focusing on a presidential candidate and their family. And the family has always been fertile ground for the media, but this is just not high on voters' priority list. And I really think that's true. I think it's true with the laptop story. I think it's true with this custody story or paying or not paying child support. It looks bad, but so as Roger long Clinton, as it's not Joe Biden, yeah, no, no, but you it's said, you one said step before. removed. As long as yes, it's it not, Roger as long, yeah, yeah, Roger Clinton and yes. uh, Jimmy Carter's brother on and on. You said something important. As long as it's not Joe Biden, Mo, Burisma in Ukraine, the China business deals, uh, the prostitutes, the guns, the drugs, the laptop, all not Joe Biden yet. How worried should Democrats be if Republicans can make the connection that Lauren talked about of something to Joe Biden? I mean, we can sit here and go through a million different hypotheticals to talk about how worried Democrats would be if the dominoes fell this way or, or Are they that worried way. the dominoes might fall? No, I don't think most Democrats are worried about the, the dominoes falling and hitting Joe Biden because Joe Biden is known to most people as a pretty stand-up guy. I don't think people are going to punish the father for the sins of the son in this case. <laughs> and I think as long as Republicans are focused on this and talking about this, they are not talking about the things that the voters you were talking about actually care about. And so the more the House Oversight Committee wants to dive into this, I think most Democrats are like, Godspeed, do what you got to do, because we're going to be talking about abortion, and we're going to be talking about the economy, and we're going to be talking about all of these other issues which Democrats are betting more voters are going to care about. And on the flip side of that, you also have with the, the Trump indictment, the Trump legal drama, Democrats are telling their candidates, their incumbents, don't go out on the campaign trail and talk about this. Talk about those kitchen table issues. So I think this applies to both sides of the aisle on this. Don't get too much in the weeds um, on an issue that, quite frankly, aren't, isn't impacting voters every day. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a number of committees who are investigating. So mm -hmm. when, when you say that there's, and, and Mo, this is specific specifically to you as well, when you you say don't judge the father or, you know, judge the son, they're separate. But there is really, I mean, these two, they're, they're in contact a lot and there's a number of House investigations. There could be some connection between these two. <laughs> Again, I mean, that's not based on anything that we have seen so far. Yeah, they're in contact a lot because Joe Biden is clearly a guy who loves his kids, even flawed. And so the fact that he would still love his son I think most people would get that. They're going to investigate Hunter. Who knows what happens with Hunter? Will people automatically transfer that to the president? I don't think so. I think it would take something quite remarkable for people to start drawing that connection. Hmm. You think about how Donald Trump has tried to make an enormous amount out of Hunter Biden. Yeah. It's been a, a big part of his rallies and the like. Uh, Ron DeSantis, not so much, to which Mo's point would be that voters would be more interested in somebody who's talking about the issues they care about, which Republicans care about wokeism. Uh, they care about the economy, something Ron DeSantis talks about a lot. But at least among Republican primary voters, Lauren, that's not the case. I mean, there is a Hunter Biden issue that's, I think, a better strategy, which is censorship of certain stories about Hunter Biden or the Twitter files or, you know, this conservative censorship vain is successful for Republicans, but that's not what they're doing. As long as they're attacking the personal behavior, I don't think it's as successful. Again, I think Democrats are in, you know, a, a really bad position heading into 2024. The only thing stopping them is Republicans shooting themselves in the foot. And we could talk about 
all the policy failures of the Biden administration. But this is not something that resonates, according to polling I've seen. It's really low on the list. It's not even in the top 10 issues heading into the midterms. And I, I don't see that changing. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.